What's up guys, Raymond here with another financial statement analysis video and in this video we're going to be analysing a stock called South Gitter. Please correct me if I'm pronouncing the name wrong in the comments section below. Um, this is one of, this is episode 12 of our German energy stocks analysis and we're going to start off with the key ratios as we usually do. If you're new to my financial statement analysis videos, what we do in these videos is we analyse the top three financial statements of each company. Those being the income statement, balance sheet and the cash flow statement and we pick out the top factors or the most important factors in each statement and we attempt from the, that those information are from the figures um, um, derived from 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 as a result of the those factors we attempt to come up with some form of idea of how strong the company is financially as well as whether or not the company has a, a viable future and to what extent so without further ado we're going to start with the key ratios the market cap which is the overall price of the company uh, divided up as uh, or comprised comprised by its amount of shares or the amount of divisible parts of the company available to stock uh, available to the open market multiplied by the price of each stock, uh, each uh, share so that is the market cap the market cap is 1.40 billion euros which is really good just above 40 percent above our minimum of 1 billion uh, p ratio which is the price to earnings ratio is 1.68 which is incredibly small so i would like to see what the company has been doing um, with regards to uh, market performance over the past year so the company has managed to decrease its value by 25 percent which is actually not too bad considering the economic situation that with high interest rates etc uh, that we're in right now um, that's quite uh, quite normal to see that um, so I'm very very interested to see why the P ratio is uh, so low I've never, I, I haven't seen a P ratio so low in such a long time um, if you're probably one, if you're wondering why, well, whether or not a low PE ratio is good, it's good and bad. It's a lot. A lot of people say it's good. It just it, the PE ratio just uh, denotes the the cheapness of a stock. It just shows how cheap the stock is relative to the to the earnings, the price to earnings ratio. Um, so the revenue figure, which is the overall sales of the company, the sales value of the company in the last financial year was nine point seven seven billion euros. The earnings per share uh, was thirteen point eight one billion euros per share. Uh, let's just quickly oops i've gone off sorry about that let's just quickly check uh the share price which is 24 euros so that is over 50 percent uh earnings per share which is actually quite crazy so something's happened that's causing the the stock price to be so low um and uh and consequently the p ratio to be so low uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna. I'll try my best to figure it out. The dividend yield is also quite high. It's three point two two three uh, percent, considering that the earnings per share is so high. <laughs> um, anyway, um, it's not quite our minimum. It doesn't quite meet, meet our minimum threshold of five percent, uh, but it's still it's quite close. So the beta, which is the overall risk level, is one point seven two, which is seventy percent seventy two percent above the market average of one. So it's quite a risky and volatile stock, uh, as we've seen. We're going to start off with the uh, income statement, which is show which depicts the uh, overall income as uh, compared to the revenue figure for the uh, for past three financial years. So starting with 2019, it had a negative figure, a, a moderately negative uh, net income. The 2020 financial year it managed to reduce its overall revenue, overall sales by quite a significant factor, but it also managed to increase its overall um, um, net loss. So that was quite a bad year. Um, the last financial year, which is the 2021 financial year, managed to increase its uh, revenue figure again uh, to above the 2019 financial year, but also managed to not only meet a positive net income figure, but also uh, have a quite have quite a decent net income figure that looks about 7%. Um, we're going to get into the balance sheet, which shows the overall liabilities compared to the um, assets of the company, what the company controls and owns compared to what it owes. So the the liabilities would be the dark purple or dark blue figure and the assets total assets would be the light purple figure so the total assets as you can see in the next, in the past three financial years outstrips the the total liabilities by, by quite a significant amount but it doesn't quite do it by over 50 percent which is what we would say is quite a safe amount so it's over 50 percent i would say about 65 to 70 percent consistently uh, of debt to assets uh the debt to asset ratio over the past three financial years it did manage to increase its overall um overall assets uh at a higher rate than the it managed to increase its um total liabilities but the increase in each are quite consistent 
Um, but let's get into the cash flow statement, which depicts how the man company manages its cash, uh, cash flow, sorry, from operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities, and also going back to the net income as well as uh, the net change in cash, how much the ca cash the company holds in, in its books. Uh, so let's just quickly check that. The starting line net income seven hundred and five million, which is almost just above fifty percent of the. Uh, overall market price which is amazing um the, the cash flow from operating activities was 329 million euros the cash flow from investing activities was negative 366 million euros which is expected it's always um, almost always a negative figure because it shows what the company is how the company is spending its cash so it spent about just over half of uh, well sorry just over just over half of his net income on investing on investing in capital expenditures and other cash flow items but most of the the bulk of that expense went to capital expenditures so expanding his property plant and equipment um so it can be more productive in the next financial year companies have to do that to be able to be a viable stock and be worth investing in as well as um attracting investors through the high dividend yields etc uh so yeah Cash flow statement, cash flow from finance and activities was 146 million euros, which is really good. Uh, it spent, uh, it spent 56 million euros finance and cash flow items and the other, um, the other, uh, oh well, it managed to raise 203 million euros in debt. So it increased its debt liabilities amount by 203 million euros. Foreign exchange effects are quite, quite minimal. So it managed to gain some extra euros on uh, foreign exchange effects uh, equating to 1.3 million euros and the net change in cash was 120 million euros which is really good for that financial year let's just check the net in net change in cash uh, as a in, uh, uh, based on its history so 2020 financial year the net change in cash was negative 79 million so it done really it done really really well with regards to operate operating income um, and net income uh, in the last financial year it managed to get from a negative net change in cash to a positive of 120 million euros and considering it managed to expand its uh, property plan and equipment by, equipment by quite a large amount um, so let's check the 2019 financial year to see sorry I keep going off uh, to see how it's done with regards to cash so it managed to lose a lot of money they didn't make much money uh, sorry it lost 253 million euros uh, with net income in the 2019 financial year and it managed to end up with 144 million euros so that's quite a, an odd one people don't really understand how that happens because uh, net income is only one part of the company's uh, a company story uh, um, and how it, how it generates cash flow so operating income could be quite high investing income could be quite high uh, uh, etc so uh, without further ado I'm going to close this video thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next one